I'm going to show you with some simple 3D modeling techniques how to take your 3D print time literally in half. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how. This is quite difficult to describe on camera. I can't just tell you. I'm going to have to show you how it's all done. This helmet, um, it's a little rough. I haven't sanded it down or anything, but to print it off hollow with no supports uh, will take you generally about 16 hours. This one actually takes about eight to print. And all I've really done is, is I've gotten rid of all the infill and I've replaced it with some modeling infill. Let's see if we can get in there. If you look there, you can see the ribs. So when you print these things, you're printing them purely in vase mode. This here takes 24 hours to print normally. With my system, using those little ribs in there, you can just see them, takes 12. Now, I, it's a huge game changer for me because I can speed up the prints, retain the quality, and have a little more control over the structure. Okay, so let me show you in CAD how this is done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start thinking about this printing in what I'm going to call negative vase printing. So negative vase printing is the idea that you can print the shells or the outside of your part in vase mode. That is critical. Now to do vase mode, there's a couple things that you need to keep in mind. So I print with a really fat nozzle at 0 0.8 millimeters. That being said, is there's a critical number from that. You need to remember half of that, which is 0.4 millimeters. And 0.4 millimeters gives you all the gaps that you need. So let's say we have to do this flat plate. We have a gap from here to here that's 0.4 millimeters. And we have a gap from here to here that's 0.4 millimeters. Now, the reason why we want that to be 0.4 millimeters with these slots is that it allows it to do vase mode. Now, when we go into a 3D print and we do the vase mode printing, we do the spiral contour, this is what you're going to see. Now, you can follow the head going around and it's just following the outline and it does this over and over and over again without slowing down, without stopping, without retracting, without any moves. It's just printing out the piece, but you're still having the reinforcing pieces that you need. When you print the flat, what you end up with is a piece that looks like this. Let's see, so you can see all the way through. And you saw how it printed off fairly nicely and nice and easy. And it's it's quite structurally sound. Is it any better or worse than any other print? No, but the fact remains is it takes substantially less time to uh, to print. Well, that's great, Ben, but how do you deal with something that's enclosed? And this is where some of the magic happens is, is that you'll take a quick look at this round circle here. And there's one of these slots is a little different than the others. This one goes all the way through. So your pen can come around the outside, all the way around the outside, go into the inside, then all the way around. Kira is going to show you how it's done. So when you do the slicing of the vase mode, this is kind of what happens. Here is that circle when you are done. And let's see if I can find the seam here. Do, do, do. See, now if I have to go looking for that seam, it tells you that it's doing a pretty darned good job. There's a seam. So the seam. Do, do, do. I'm not sure if we're even going to be able to get that on camera. The seam is right there. And again, the nozzle's just going around and tracing it, just like you see in the video. That ends up taking a whole lot less time. Now, with this vase mode printing, I decided that most of you might not believe me. So what I'm going to do is I took a copy of this design. Moai statue, no overhang from cults. The creator here is Julian da Costa. Now, now Julian has made this really cool piece and I just wanted something that was organic and kind of rough around the edges just to show you that this can be done quite easily. Um, so what I've done is an iteration of this. I want you to go to Cults and download his model and also send him a, send him a tip on um, PayPal if you got a chance to. It's, uh, people make stuff like this, is, it's pretty cool. And we've got the, the Moai the way it is, right? Now, what I've done is I've taken this Moai and I put it into Cura 
and it would take two hours and 33 minutes to print this guy and he's four inches tall. I thought, okay, if we do the shell, it might save some time, right? That would take two hours and 32 minutes. So you save a minute by doing this. And again, none of this has support, okay? So what would happen if I integrate the ribs? We cut that back slot out of the spine like that and we rip in some of those ribs that you saw earlier on that rectangle. My version, what I did was instead of 0.4 millimeter nozzle and two wall thicknesses, I decided that let's just go for 0.8 because we want it to be fairly thick, right? And we want it 0.2 height. So all the heights and everything are the same, same speed, um, bottom layers, the whole bit. But we, the difference here is, is that we do a surface spiralize. This took an hour and 25 minutes. That's what, what do we have here? Let's take... It's not 50% savings. I find that the larger the model, the bigger the time savings are on this, but you're saving an hour off of this print just by doing a spiral outline. And what you come up with is like this. Here's a little side thing is on this here, I used what's called lightweight PLA. Highly recommend you go and try some of this stuff. The way it works is, is that it expands when it comes out of the nozzle. So it makes a super light print, but it's quite tough. Um, and the added bonuses are is that it is very easy to sand. So it works out quite well. But you'll notice the only difference here, let's just get the angle right. You'll see the spine angle right there. So you can see that there is a spine line as the pieces come in and out. I want you to know that coming up in some future videos, we're gonna be covering how to do this helm. And I'm gonna be offering the downloads for the files for this helm. I'm also going to be making a dumbed down version of this head. So if you're doing cosplay, you can have Ben's head in your cosplay room, but you can print off a, a male head and we'll figure out the scaling that you would need for doing your size of head for anything that you need to. There are more tricks coming up and there, the tricks are things like you don't have to have just linear ribs. You can have crossover ribs and do an actual structural pattern. Does it make it stronger? Absolutely. Another thing I've come up with just recently is, is figuring out how to do two layers to the outside. So when you do that, it makes it stupid strong for the structure that you get off of this. I want you to follow my channel and hit subscribe, like the video. Please leave any comments below on what you think about this process, especially if you download this guy and print it off. I want to know what your results are. You can go to my Patreon and you'll see the link below. That helps me do a little more research into this and figure out the best methods to do this. And I'm also going to be offering files like the helmet or my head on there for free. Anybody that's in my Patreon will be able to get it for free. There's a few YouTubers out there that are really good at 3D printing. Joel, <laughs> Jesse, Angus, Thomas, Richard, all of you out there. I want you to all take a look at this. Please download the Moai head. Please give it a print and let me know how it goes. If you like how it printed off, especially like say Jesse who does cosplay, get me a helmet or a mask that you would like to have me modify so that it prints in this method to find out if it works for you. Same thing goes for you, Joel. Thomas and Angus, you're both very technically minded. Tell me what you think about this chip. Um, I've seen a lot of your videos on how to speed up the printer, especially with the new Cura coming out and some of the tweaks that you've done to your machines. I'm curious if your tweaks can make this even faster. It'd be awesome to hear from you about that. Thank you for making it this far into the video. Very appreciate it. Down below, you're going to see links for the Moai. You're going to see links for a couple of test pieces uh, to my Patreon. If you can go and become one of my Patreons, that would be a huge help in helping me push this further forward. Yeah, and I look forward to chatting with you guys in a little bit on the next video.